Hello everyone. Let me give you an introduction and the use of pen tool in this video. Let's start by showing you people what are the tools are there in pen tool section. Also, let us see two new tools. One is path selection tool and direct selection tool. First, for an example, let's create a rectangle. Click and drag a rectangle for the perfect square. Use shift for that and apply any color using fill option if you want. If not, Give none. I am going to apply stroke color and increase the size of the stroke. You can see that if you create any shape using pen tool or any default shape in Photoshop, it automatically creates a shape layer in the layers panel. Okay, let's give a try on the tools. First, add anchor point. It helps us to create an anchor point in the shape. For now, let me create it in the center of the line. If we want to adjust the anchor point, use the direct selection tool. Select the anchor point and we can move it anywhere. To adjust the tangents or to adjust the particular side of the tangent, hold Alt in the keyboard and adjust it. You can see there. Now let's see how to undo and redo. The shortcuts are, if you want to undo, give Ctrl plus Z. Multiple times undo, give Ctrl plus Alt plus Z. To redo, give Ctrl plus Shift plus Z. That's it. That's the shortcut for undo and redo. Okay, let's see the next tool. Delete anchor point. What is the use of delete anchor point? It deletes the anchor point. <laughs> okay, let's get back to the next tool. Convert point tool. It helps us to change the sharp edge into curve. And if you click again in the curve, it becomes sharp edge. That's it. Path selection tool helps us to move it anywhere in the document. And direct selection tool is used to move the particular point in the shape. Now we are going to see freeform pen tool. Before that, let's see magnetic lasso tool and freeform pen tool. More or less, both are same. First, let me create a shape using freeform pen tool. You can see there shape is being created and layer also being created automatically now using magnetic lasso tool if you create it will create a selection because it's a selection tool and it won't create any new layer as like freeform pen tool freeform pen tool can also used for selection purposes if we go to shape layer and click using control it becomes a selection that's it to get rid of the selection use Control plus D. Let me show you the selection tools and will explain you later about these like I explained the traditional pen tool. In my next video, let me use some shapes and create it using traditional pen tool. Thank you. Peace.